Hello you, welcome to the channel. This is Funcho. So on today's video, I'm gonna talk about uh, shooting manually and another tip which is always have money at hand. You see, when you have more gold, you get better offers at the market. Uh, you can have, you can buy uh, parts at a larger quality at a better price, and you also get to have uh, rare perks offered to you. Now they are expensive, but uh, they're definitely worth to buy. And before we get on to the next tip that I have, um, let's take a look here at some goodies. Ballpark motor, alright, so this is great. Uh, the ballpark motor is going to get a, a bit of an upgrade on the next um, game patch. Let's see, well, there's no need for this one anymore. Get rid of that one. We can also get rid of this one. And let's do some upgrading here. Let's uh, evolve this big shield. We start getting more health. Because it definitely comes in handy. And let's just upgrade it as far as we can. Well, we need some common parts. Now we definitely have cash for that. Alright, let's do this. Level 17. Let's see, well, no more parts. We're gonna have to wait until the pawn market uh, refreshes. In the meantime, we have now 400 hit points, and that's so sweet. Alright, so I've been using the Defender level 4. And I have to say the added health is what's been helping me get to a better infamy level. Uh, I was pretty much stuck at 1400 and I'm averaging 1600 or thereabout. Alright, uh, all right, so here we go, let's go into the game. and show you what the next tip is all right so it's about aiming and pretty much you have to take advantage of the manual aiming as opposed to the automatic one and i show you what i mean you know when you ship turns your turret uh steers with you and if you have a, an enemy on auto aim, it will also aim with you. However, if you use manual aim, you can see how it can turn a bit faster. And that makes, it started to make a big difference for me on my aiming and hitting the target. So that right there is tip number two. So again, have a lot of go in hand. So you can take advantage of better offers on the marketplace and in gameplay tips make sure you auto aim uh, I'm sorry manually because <laughs> the auto option is just too slow now I'm gonna see if I can try to demonstrate that here for you Now you still want to use the uh, lock to help you aim as you're steering, but you definitely want to do the manual aiming wherever you can. And now I'm just getting hammered there. Alright, so that's an, uh, uh, one thing that I've noticed is that when playing a defender ship, you are going to be uh, become. Uh, a favorite target of the enemy 
because of the higher uh, health points, you know, people are going to try to concentrate and attack you and, and get rid of you just because, you know, it's just easier to do so while you have five ships uh, at the beginning of the battle. So you do have better health, but uh, you're more prone to being attacked. And uh, as a bonus tip, if uh, you want to hit somebody, make sure it's not the healer. The healer is the, or the fixer, is the last ship you should try to uh, eliminate in a match because they're 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 not they're not going to hurt you. Now, the only way a fixer hurts you is by fixing uh, ally ships. However, if you take out their firing power first, you know the fixer doesn't become a, a, an issue. You leave them at the end, and if 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 and if you know this, if you're a fixer, if you are the last one in the match, you're most likely to lose. Because they usually don't carry a lot of uh, firepower. So, that right there is bonus tip number, or, or tip number three. Alright, so we'll do another uh, short gameplay here. Um, hopefully I can do better. And let's see if we do. Okay, so I just aimed there. I manually adjusted to aim. And it helped out. Now, I did miss the other shot. However, you know, it was all with uh, good intention. Okay, well, we're in close. Okay, we got him there. Okay, that's another shot. Ooh, he got me good too. Miss. Okay, we got him there. 220. Okay, he's going out. And of course I get hit. Alright, so that wasn't good driving on my end. Alright, so there I adjusted my aim. to adjust for the ship's uh, speed and trajectory. Now, if you're moving in the same direction as the enemy, you don't have to adjust as much. But if they're going in a different direction, or if they're moving sideways, you know, you definitely want to adjust. Uh, so we got three ships left, and there are five of us, so we should be able to lose. Okay, that's it. You see, it, it, this game is just so nice when everybody concentrates their firepower in a particular enemy, as opposed to just trying to go one-on-one -on -one and taking somebody on your own. Alright, so here's a good example. We have the healer, fixer, as the last man on the show. And he is going down. Oh, I get the last shot. Alright, so this is it for uh, today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and take advantage of those tips, which again are have lots of goal, manually aim when possible, when needed, and do not attack the fixers or even the, the speeders at, at the beginning of the match. You want to concentrate on shooters and forces or defenders and leave those uh, speeders and fixers towards the end. Now with the speeder, you know, they usually don't have a lot of health and if you leave it at the end, they're just gonna go around, try to avoid you, but they're not gonna capture and uh, since the last patch, uh, they no longer, uh, you know, in, in a draw, if you're outnumbered, uh, you're going to win. So just try to uh, capture, let him come to you. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. 
Thank you for watching.